Let me start this video off by saying I will never be Jay Dilla. You will never be Jay Dilla. Let's all let that man rest. Anyways, it's been a minute since I've made a boom bap video. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about the word boom bap anymore. I'm really just trying to make music that has like a really nice pocket and swing with hard hitting ass drums. Like whenever somebody asks me what genres I like to make, it is literally like a MW2 flash grenade to my dome. I just go blank. I have no idea what to say. I just be making music. I don't know. But in today's video, we are going to be making a boom bap beat. And I'm gonna try and showcase the elements of what makes a boom bap beat special to me beautiful sample good drums good pocket let's get into it all right so obviously we got to start with a sexy beautiful luscious sample i'm gonna be going into my discord server to try and find something i'm not gonna lie my discord server is absolutely dead but my sample gems chat is always popping bro if you guys need a fireplace to look for samples make sure you join the discord all right let's just try and find something in here i don't know what type of vibe i'm trying to go for with as far as the samples i guess we're just gonna figure it out together as we go it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a journey Like that i'm gonna keep that one we got a jeremiah song i honestly haven't heard this before Ooh. how have i not heard this wait what is this i feel kind of guilty flipping a jeremiah song but i might have to do it this is fucking crazy this chat is really perfect if you're just trying to find some new music you don't even have to be sampling it just if you want to listen to some good shit just join the discord man all right we have snagged the sample drag it into ableton man and i got this new m2 laptop and i am fucking feeling myself actually the best piece of equipment i've ever invested in my other laptop was fighting for its life on the daily it's finally been put down it is in a better place now so i just want to loop that intro part also turn it up a bit this is a little quiet so if you leave your samples unwarped in ableton an easy way to get it onto b is literally just change the bpm and as you can see it moves the audio while i change the bpm so let's just try and get this on beat that was easy <laughs> all right now that it's closer let's click warp i kind of want to speed this up a little bit hey i like that bounce okay so i'm definitely gonna use this part and i want to also use yeah that part make sure everything is looping i think it's perfect now The textures on this are wild, man. Fuck. If you've never listened to Jamiroquai, you have to go listen to Jamiroquai. If you like Michael Jackson, if you like beautiful ass chords, you might really like him as well. All right, honestly, we could get started with the drums already. I really just like this sample. I want to just get something going over it. You already know what we're doing for the drums. It's addictive presets time. If you haven't copped addictive presets yet, you're slacking. I'm also not going to click in anything today. I want a real, real nice groove. I feel like the key to a good boom bap beat is, you know, just the human feel of things. So we are not rocking with quantization. We Quantization? Qu that, dude, I hate that word, bro. We are not rocking with quanti... Fuck it. Out the box, these are just going to sound crazy. Perfect for boom bap. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's going to be special i also want to side chain my drums to the sample all right so i'm just gonna let this play turn the metronome on and kind of just finger drum over this not quantizing shit just trying to get a good groove also if you feel like you can't get the right pocket with your boom bap beats instead of swinging the drums you should also swing like the melody or sample a little bit to the right so i'm gonna just delay this 28 milliseconds and this should just help me get way more in pocket That sounds crazy, man. Those drums just sound so nice. So I'm gonna just go through this and find the most in-pocket take and then we'll kind of work from there. Oh my God, that's crazy. I'm adding a little bit more processing to these drums because these are still dry. I literally just have the volume increase. I always like to go in with the little radiator just for some saturation. Turn the noise off. Ooh, shit. It's going with the Volve compressor too. Maybe a little bit of reverb. I'm gonna open up contact. You already know I'm going straight to that Rick and Bacher bass, brother. Let's try and find the key of this. Uh. 
I don't think there's anything on this earth that brings me more joy than making this type of shit. I'm not gonna lie. I wanna try and come in with some more percussion, maybe on top of this to just fuck around with. Hey yo. They got pissing sounds in this bitch. Low key a little a little waterfall steam in the back would go stupid. That's kind of insane. That is a nice ass texture. Let's go ahead and just layer that in for texture. Let's take out the low end though, because I do not want this cluttered with anything else. triangle for the hose why not maybe a little crash on the one here yes sir that's hard man uh. oh yeah uh. Shit is beautiful right there. I wonder if there's anywhere else in the sample we can mess with. Oh shit! Which part's better? I think maybe like a thicker synth bass on this part might go stupid. Let's see how this sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Hopefully inspired you to go make some shit after this. Once again, Addictive Presets is out now. If you want the cleanest drums possible, you might want to get this. I'll be giving away the kit to some people who leave a comment on the video. I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I am out this bitch. Bye.